In this session, we'll discuss S4 methods. It's a continuation of the previous session on S4 classes. Let's start by load the genomic regions library. There's going to be a few examples we're going to pick from there. So a method is a function that allows you to do diff run different sets of code based on um, different values of the argument. That sounds very fancy. In reality, it's pretty simple. Over here in the R console, I've written a small function called mimic method that looks very much like you want to think about a NS4 method or any kind of method. Uh, so it's a function that takes a single argument x and it basically says, it consists of a number of if statements. It says that if x is a matrix, run some code that's called method 1. If x is a data frame, run some code that's called method 2. If x is an i range, just run some code that is called method 3. In this case, mimic method is a is what is known as a generic function because this is where the the, the kind of if statements uh, happens. Uh, x is the main argument. We are doing dispatching on x. It means that we examine x and we use the class of x to define to 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 tell us which piece of code to run. So that's a little, that sounds a little fancy. Let's take an example uh, and let's look at s.dataframe. So uh, when we look at the printout for s.dataframe, uh, you can see that uh, there's something with a standard generic and something with a method, and this identifies it as a uh, uh, S4 method. You can see that it was made into an S4 method in the package called BioC Generics. Uh, and there's a, a version from base R uh, that we can access with base dot uh, S uh, data frame and then have to run S uh, that is not an S4 method. It looks differently. It is actually an S3 method, and you can see there's something called use method inside the function definition. But BioC Generics redefines this. Uh, method as an S4 method. This is what happens when you get a lot of printout in the beginning. Let's, let me scroll back up a little bit. Uh, it says here, the following objects are masked from package colon base. And in here, we have as.dataframe. Uh, so this printout we get when we load genomic ranges, or it actually happens when we load uh, BioC generics, is just telling us that as.dataframe is being redefined as a generic, as an S4 generic. Now, uh, so as the data frame is gonna examine its arguments and decide which piece of code uh, to run. So let's see how many pieces of kind of code we have uh, defined. We see, we, we look at that by the show methods function. Uh, and we see that uh, it's defined for a number of different classes that are all bioconductor classes. So we are going to do dispatching on the argument uh, called lowercase x, and it runs different types of code depending on which of these functions, uh, which of these, depending on which class x has. Uh, it doesn't have strictly to be different kinds of code. Uh, some of these things might be the same code. <coughs> so how do we actually see the code? We uh, use the function get method. And now we have to say what method is it we are interested in. It's as does data frame. And what is the uh, value of x? So I can say genomic ranges. And out uh, is the function definition or the method definition. Now note in, uh, in the thing I said here with get method, I didn't really tell it that it was the argument x that was genomic ranges. The full kind of uh, uh, foolproof call to get method says I have to do some I have to do some known as a signature and I say that X it's X as a genomic range. So how do we get help on methods? That is a little uh, uh, irritating or uh, it it um, it's irritating because you have to type a lot to get to the right help page. 
So let's go back here and look at the show methods. The problem with uh, S4 methods is that each of these specific functions that are listed here, or a specific methods that are listed, specific instances of methods uh, that, that are listed here, can have its own help page in its own package. So you have to write, not only am I looking for help on as.dataframe, but also as.dataframe when, when run on a, let's say, capital data frame. So there's two ways of doing it. Uh, you can either do, uh, uh, that are very similar to the way we get help for classes, for S4 classes. We can say method, colon. Now we have to have uh, uh, um, uh, some quotes. Uh, so we're looking for as.dataframe and a comma, and then say we want to look for the data frame uh, for when X is a data frame. And up comes a, a help page that really mostly talks about the capital data frame class, and perhaps somewhere says that there's an S dot data frame. Yeah, here. You can also uh, instead of having this uh, ugly method uh, 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 question mark, we can just say question mark. Then we say S dot data frame, comma the class we want to uh, we want to examine and then a dash method not even method oh method <coughs> um, or we want something else to know me ranges so we have to type a lot and it, this becomes even worse if we have dispatching on multiple arguments so an s dot data frame you can see that we just have functions that defined for different values of x. So we are only dispatching on the argument x. Let's look at something more complicated. Let's show the methods for find overlaps. This is a function we uh, love in this class. <coughs> <coughs> so Find overlaps have two main arguments. It has a query and a subject. <coughs> and it does dispatching on both query and subject. Um, and uh, depending on different combinations of query and subject, it's going to run different types of code. <coughs> <coughs> so... Now we uh, get into uh, this problem where we, uh, not problem, but now we have to use the signature. We have to uh, write a lot in order to see. So if you want to get the method, we now use signature. And now we have to say that the query could be a ranges and the subject could be a ranges list. see up in the show method output that there wasn't a combination like this but there's a combination for ranges and ranges we see the code and uh, in a similar way if we want to get some help on it we say question mark find overlaps comma but now you have to know the order in which uh, things are so now we have to have ranges comma ranges dash methods Uh, method uh, and we get to the right help page so as four methods are really powerful if you're writing a package where you want objects in the package to work like basic R functions that's the case for I ranges and genomic ranges and we know and we we like those classes and the functionality just works uh, the drawbacks to as four methods is that it, it's hard to use the help system uh, it's hard to see the code uh, they are hard to debug, uh, and um, so, so I think they, they can be a little bit of a pain. For the use case that you have in genomic ranges and eye ranges, it's hard to imagine doing what they're doing uh, without using S4 methods, but um, in many packages uh, that does analysis, uh, 
it's not so clear what people gain from using S4 methods. In my own work, I use S4 classes uh, extensively in my own uh, methods development. Uh, I use S4 methods uh, quite sparingly.